Um, okay. Welcome back. I'm shitting in my ass and I'm fucking all these See? men and I'm. I have diapers. <laughs> I got the diapers. Call me up on your diaper plug. Yeah. Look at this. I'm a sniper. I'm like, I'm like fucking, I'm like J Jake Long, American sniper. I'm <laughs> the American sniper. She's a war you mean the fucking dragon guy? Yeah, <laughs> Jake, Jake Long, American sniper. <laughs> I only know, I only know, I know, I only know um, that character because of um, that one porn comic where he fucks his mom. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. It's a good comic. I, 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 need, I, need, I need to make a video of my disillusionment with the sissy hip now. <laughs> 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 is this, has a sissy of no hour become bad? It's it's not really it's not really bad. Like it, it just it just says like uh, episodes twelve and fourteen, which is kind of weird. This uh, man, this guard right like here, the, he has a like, family. Like, he has three kids and a loving wife and a loving husband. <laughs> <laughs> and a loving bowl. Yeah. Like 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 they had like they had cute moments. They just didn't you know. Is right. Sissy Hypno- is that the podcast that you guys sent me and you were like, hey, you'll like this, and then I couldn't listen to it at work because the- the one yes, girl's one. It, it, voice was hurting my ears and my headphones, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's one. Um, I, uh, I don't know, I think- it's- I think they're too much of normies for me to get invested. That's fair. But, uh, I liked it. I listened to a few episodes while walking to McDonald's one day. Cause I do that to get out of the house sometimes. Hell yeah. I mean, you could just walk and just walk. Oh, this guy's shiny. Well, no, but like, I like, but like, um, the sitting in a McDonald's gives me comfort. That's, that's face, that's face. Got the key. I usually just walk, but sometimes I'm like, yeah, I have like $20. I'm gonna buy a fucking, this is how you eat a Big Mac, nigga. Yo, who wants dinner? <laughs> oh, me, man. Yeah, I'm full. I think, I think I need to make a view called my disillusionment with food. Hmm. With the food community. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the food community, aka the seven billion people. <laughs> to I, th I think at some point C or someone is gonna just make a video that's just my disillusion with the dots, right? That'd be funny. That was very funny. Shout out C. <laughs> Shout out C. Shout out yeah, C. Know, I'm just like, okay. It's not that I don't find comfort in food, because I do. It's just that food. The, I take too much comfort in food. It's just my favorite way of hurting myself. Hmm. Yeah, I feel that. Except I, except like um, I'm like, well, you know, the heartburn is worth it for eating this <laughs> motherfucking Big Mac. Hell I don't yeah. even eat Big Macs, but uh. How, how do you Americans sleep while oh, I'm eating food and oh, I feel man. terrible for like five days after it? Like, <laughs> how do I you survive? I, I do. Okay, oh. so, pl plunder. You have the ability to gain serious weight. That is true. I don't. Yeah, I you just, have like a weird style. I guess in like the most painful way possible. Yeah, you're I like never... me, but even more extreme, where you're just like Shaggy from Scooby Doo, where it all just disappears. It all just disappears, but it's not fun <laughs> because I just digest it in like the most horrible, painful way possible. Yeah. And eating most food ends in pain for me. So yeah, I kind of just have to select a. I, I think that like my current plan is just to select a number of foods that don't cause this sort of disturbance in me and oh. just eat them forever. Yo, did you see how I fell to That's the ground idea. gracefully, slowly there? Because it yeah. was making the cutscene, so it didn't know what to do with me. Yeah, you're, you're, you're fucking, you're like the way your stomach seems to digest food is just like, shit, we finish it, all this out. Yeah. And then uh, I just, I just the rumbling proceeds to rumble, rumble. I, I imagine yeah. it's like one of those, uh, it's like those big like metal teeth machines that grind up like car parts into, into little bits. Yeah, exactly. That you see YouTube videos of people throwing like jello into. That's what I just imagine yeah, is in your yeah, That's a horrible video. Hard that's the least it. fucking satisfying video I've ever fucking seen. I like those where it's just fucking destroying like like keyboards and fucking my... pieces of glass with that. Like, like the my concept is me. Go ahead, Ken. My personal favorite of this kind of video is just videos of people carving soap. Yeah. Yeah. Soap carving is very good. 
I mean, I mean, like, okay, he, 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 here's my disillusionment with the fucking wood carving community on YouTube. Oh. One, 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 day, one day, someone was like, "Hey, look, we can, we can make cool things by taking like porous wood or like fucked up wood, and then just making it in interesting, right?" Like people were like, "Oh, oh, wow, we can just like fill in the gaps in wood with like resin and have like colorful, cool things that we can do." And I was like, "Yeah, that's really cool. I like this innovation in the wood turning community. Like, you know, I, I appreciate classic wood turning a lot. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I." I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the traditional stuff. Yeah. But you know, when you, when you take a piece of food that otherwise couldn't be used, you put resin in it and you make like a colorful bowl or something. That's fucking sick. That's fucking sick. But na now, nowadays, nowadays it has become like this arms race where people are just making the, <laughs> like, making the least amount of food and the yeah. most amount of resin. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, this is resin turning. This isn't food turning. This is resin but, uh, turning. You people are frauds. Yeah. I think, I think, I think you and Starbucks should make the wood community exposed in the podcast. No. I, I'm Does not actually Starbuck have community. problems with the wood community? I mean, no, he's just a member of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Shut up, I, uh, I talked to him <laughs> the other day, and I was like, hey, can I, like, be your apprentice or something? He was like, he, he like, actually genuinely entertained the thought, and I was like, oh, shit, like, if you want to teach me, I'll, I'll learn. Fuck. I didn't think mm. you would respond to this genuinely. One one time, me and Tarbuck just bonded over different axes and how sh the, the different saws and how shit they were. Yeah, yeah. I I've he's told me that that the that the Japanese like knife style saw with the with the straight handle that comes out like in the direction of the saw blade is the best saw. Saw. <laughs> Anyway, dungeon time. We're in the sand world. Hey, you know what I've been thinking lately? Yeah. What? Because I've been kind of getting more and more interested in um, sort of like the painters that I used to be in really into like a few years ago. Like I was really in and like kind of inspired me to take a more based approach to art creation. Yeah. You know, like like classic painters like. um. Yeah. You know, like Basquiat and uh, Pablo Picasso and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And like, sort of, I've been thinking about it lately. I, I, I want to, I want to, I want to um, employ more destruction of my own art into the creation of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. If, if you watch any videos of any of those, those guys working, it's like, there's like one video of um, Picasso making painting something uh, that's like on YouTube. It's like some video, uh, and like he starts with one thing, and he like just paints over it, and he starts painting new stuff. That's awesome. And it's, like he, it's like he had all these sorts of paintings, and he just broke all of them, and he just put them all there. That's I think that's really cool. Crazy. And so I I want to employ more breaking of my own art into the creation of it. Hey, 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 Starman, hey, Starman, yeah. can, can I recruit you into the TCRS because that's, that's kind of like, that's adjacent to the point of the TCRS. Okay, can I, can I explain to Denpa Culture Research Society? The yeah, thing that yeah, doesn't yeah, exist? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it doesn't, doesn't it, it hypothetically doesn't, exist, this is what it would be. Yeah, it, it exists only through hyperstition, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, like the point of the Tempo Culture Research Society, right, as, as a concept, is I I think that we have all of these cool people doing all of this cool art, right? How, however, I I, f I think I think within like the general culture of Tempo Mob, I guess, like uh, th th there's no tendency to actually just like like take take any types of like sp specific directions that are intentionally cool. It's just it's just it's just kind of been like okay, like how how can we make stuff? And that that's that's also really cool and valuable, right? Mm -hmm. but, but I think it would be really cool to have like a space that's 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 not the entire of anyone's like thing. Like I'm not saying like oh everyone should dedicate themselves to the DCRS. Like that's not the point. But like I I, I think it would be cool to have like a space or a vessel where Tempos can just can just like just just like, go uh, just just have thoughts. Yeah, like just contribute like innovative work to like to just. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I could, I could do some stuff for the. the yeah. Book. If it was real, I would definitely do that. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, same. 
yeah. Like, like the point is, like, t the only thing that I can really, really do is write, right? So, so like, my my contributions to the Tenpa Culture Research Society basically just have to be writing because it's it's not supposed to be a dots right thing. It's supposed to be like, hey, this is a this is a cool shared experience thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm into it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm into this hypothetical idea. Yeah. This is a really cool hypothetical idea for sure. Yeah. Time to make minimal industrial hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, like it's ghost shit. time. <laughs> but um, but sorry, I was thinking of, like the destruction of your own arm. Like that's a really good way to sort of like sort of quote unquote like scrap art, but not like yeah, grow, not like completely disregard it. You could like friends, you can like okay, because like the way I was thinking, like you could like take this like unfinished B and then like. Put it in, put it into like a sampler, reverse it, and like put gross speed over it or whatever. That it's like a new like thing. Then it's something new, right? Yeah. Like, and even if you end up, you know, with little trace of like whatever that first thing is, the end product wouldn't exist without that first idea, right? Exactly. So, yeah, I, I want to, and it all kind of ties into, like, you just can't get to. You can't get too attached to your first idea, mm -hmm. right? Correct, yeah. You, you can't, you know, or at least I'm not really interested in, uh, you know, being static at all. This is what the, because uh, I made the I'm Britney Spears video, and I don't, I think that everybody, and that was kind of like, besides um, Ballin, uh, it was like kind of like my last big video. Yeah. Um, and I feel like nobody really got the point of, I'm Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. I feel like some people almost got it, but like, not, I don't think many people. I mean, maybe they did. Maybe I'm just kind of being a bit of an asshole. Hey, hey, yeah. hey Simon, have, have you listened to the song I made that inspired by that video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. You know, I, I actually know. I'm not gonna say that. Anybody, <laughs> anybody got what I was trying to say? Because I think that I mean, plenty of people did. But what okay. I, Sort of the idea I was trying to convey was that you can't get too caught up in like the things that like you just you can't get too like you can't be too static in like an idea of self, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have like, your self image. You have your vision. You have your like you have your self image, and like it, and like you can't get too attached to, like what your self image was before. Yeah. That was the idea. Yeah. Behind the video. That was the idea behind shaving my head for that video. Uh, so yeah, I think a lot of people did get it. Uh, I just had like one experience with somebody get it that I just. Yeah. What did they? What were they trying to Many like say it was about? Many people did not Many people did not get it. I, I I don't I don't I don't really remember what they were All trying fair. to tell me. I, 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 yeah. didn't really get it. Um, yeah, people were just like, oh, you're changing your hairstyle. Yeah, people were like, yeah. I mean, oh, most people's reaction to the video was just, I mean, I, I, there was one guy who was like, "Dude, are you okay?" Which I thought which was like the funniest thing in the world to me. It's like all I did was shave my head, which yeah, like totally proved my point. Which that's totally, literally uh, Pretty Spears. That's literally totally, what happened to Pretty Spears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it it proves my point, which is that yep. all I did was shave my head. Yeah, but like yeah, yeah. the idea of like leaving behind something that is quote unquote important, like a hairstyle that you've been developing for like seven years mm -hmm. that you don't that you don't even like anymore, like the idea of just taking it all off, like people see you do that and they go, "Wow, something must be really wrong with you." But all I did was what I thought I wanted to, what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Like I I literally like had the idea of doing the I'm Britney video like literally like an hour before doing it and i just got a pair of clippers and i just shaved my head for the video with like oh, yeah. no no real thought to it because i, I if, if i were to go well i i've had this hair cut for a while and it would be sort of a big change but like i don't want i didn't want the hair anymore yeah man yeah, yeah. so just i took it off, off. I did a similar yeah. thing, although I did not get mine shaved. It's about the shoulder length, but yeah, I, yeah, I mean, you yeah. making you that video, to. I think, is partially why I was able to cut my hair. Is because, like, nah, man, it's just like, like this isn't, 
Like, like, this doesn't have to be who I am. I can just, like, fucking cut my hair if I want to do that. Like, yeah, the, the, the idea of, um, self is always, like, free-flowing, and I think, um, I think finding physical ways to represent that self is good, but also when that when that changes, it's also, like, not holding on, like, you know, finding another physical way to represent that self. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah it's, it, and, um, yeah, I, I, I do, I do feel like, um, you know, it's like people, people, I think that's another thing. Like, I feel like when people feel like someone changes, they'll like grasp on to like superficial sort of means of like, mm-hmm. oh, the reason why this person fucking sucks now is because like, I remember I was, um, I was really into, um, this one YouTuber, um, who like had like this really long blonde hair and he shaved it off and everyone was like, well, he's fucking sucks now that he shaved his head but it wasn't really the 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 haircut he was like going through a lot of changes like with his content he was becoming like worse he, like his videos were just becoming worse um yeah. but they all sort of grasped onto like well it's because his fucking ha- 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 head got shaved or something mm. it's like yeah, i feel like i feel like that's a thing a lot of people do yeah for sure. yeah sure. yes they say niggas be tripping they do be tricky. Because it's it's easy to personify like you know, a bunch of different factors into one visibly observable factor like that. I feel I feel like that's a trap yeah. that you can get stuck in. Yeah. And I, I guess what I'm what I'm trying to fight I, and what I was trying to fight against with, with the Britney Spears media and one of the many things I'm trying to fight against is just the idea of being afraid of challenging your idea of yourself yeah and yeah. like you know or like in like, like you know to be afraid to like tear up that and like do something new with that that painting right mm-hmm. like that is just so stifling to everybody i think i think every i think that's a big reason why so many people never reach like a place where they're really happy in their lives is because yeah. they have an idea of who they are and they stay attached to it until it's too late. Like the thing with type of touch video is I, I made the entire video once before the video actually so like I, I literally made basically every clip in it I made every point I made in the video but I was like no this is just bad so I just did fucking again like uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And this that's why that's why I always say it's a very important for an artist to re- to uh, to realize when to abandon or move on from a project, but you can also just like take that and make something new. Like you don't like yeah, you don't have to. There's like I've I've had millions, I've like tons of videos that I just haven't like com- completed, or like I have videos I have like 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 fully edited that I've never released because um, I just yeah. like, well I don't feel like I need to release this. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I made stuff like that. Right. I made a lot of stuff like that, actually. And and a lot of people, you know, the idea of, of of not releasing things is something that I I understand and that I I, I do partake in. Because there's some things that you know I, I don't I don't want to release this. I don't want to release that. Um, but like, what's important to remember if you're going to pick up this idea of it's okay to scrap projects and to move on, but like the idea is that you have you have to be always moving. Yeah. Right. If you're not always moving to that next project, then you're not you're not you're not actually moving, right? Like yeah. it, it defeats the 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 point of scrapping that painting if you're not gonna or to paint over that. You know, like if you paint a chicken and you go, I want this to be a giant head now. You can just draw a head on that chicken. Yeah, man. Right? And now yeah. it's something completely different. It's a head and it's a chicken. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's the idea of not being afraid to just, like, let your feelings take control of this painting and, like, even if it ruined this sort of preconceived notion you had about what you're gonna make when you go into it, you know? Yeah. Yeah.
Um, yeah, that, that's definitely true. I, I, um, yeah, I feel, I feel like, uh, that's why I sort of like, um, Princess Plunderphonics is like sort of my channel is always evolving. Mm -hmm. And like, there's no consistency because like I'm just like every time I've tried to do something consistent, it's like, or I've tried I've tried to like have this like preconceived notion of who I am. It's like, well, like 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 because like because like, cause I'm because um, I remember like after Weeb Trash Productions, I still tried to make Weeb Trash Productions videos, some like stuff similar in that style. But like I had to like kind of move on from there. And there's other stuff I wanted to do. I just it's just like but then like but then like you know in my head I was like well now it's time to like never do YouTube again. Mm -hmm. Which is like conclusions I've come to many times. Like, well, no, you can just do something. Yeah, you just make stuff like, that you want to make. <clears throat> it's just, I, it's just, uh, it's just scary to think about. Oh, uh, what, what if I'm, what if I'm a different one? Mm -hmm. yeah, I yeah, I mean, I only have one album, but all the songs on that one album sound totally different, and that's just that's just like how my creative process works. Is that like? I'm not interested in like like making like an album that like sounds cohesive. I'm just interested in like making a bunch of different good shit. And you know, like when that's me when I like draw or make music or do a let's plays or do podcasts. It's like I'm not interested yeah. in just pursuing one angle. I am I've you know. Well that's that's why that's why I'm also like very fluid in what I create. Yeah. Like I I, I um like like when I I can't like because um, I feel like with a lot of other artists, they tend to have like a very solid idea of what they're gonna do. I never have an idea. Like I have a general idea of what I'm like. Or I'm, or I'm gonna make a fucking uh, pop song, or mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a fucking uh, dirty review. But whatever happens in the process of that of making that, uh, it just it's just gonna it just happens, you know. And yeah. like if it comes out like. If, if it's like five minutes of review and twenty five minutes of um, a compilation of um, of like uh, horses getting cummed on or something, then you know yeah. that's just how it happens. Speaking of twenty five minutes of horses getting cummed on, this is the end of this episode. Next episode. Next episode. Ah. Goodbye. Next episode. Bye. Next episode. Next episode. Next episode.